Hey guys, it's me, Perry Crystals here, back with another plugin tutorial showcase. And today we're going to be doing the plugin Void Chest. Um, this is a plugin on MC Market and Spigot. And I will see you guys in the next part of this video. Okay, I'm basically on the MC Market page as you can see here. The plugin is Void Chest and there's de various different features. But I want to go over the first thing, which is actual the plugin support. So you are going to need a economy plugin for this as a void chest. The purpose of a void chest is to sell things that go into it. So you are going to need either shop GUI essentials or just vault. Um, any one of those would work or a different economy plugin for that matter. But you are going to need one of those for this plugin to work. And there's an optional holographic displays plugin as you can see here so if you get holographic displays um you can have the different information of the void chest on top of the chest so that's really cool as you can see here i will demonstrate that later in this video and of course we're going to be going over the economy all the configurations and all the commands and of course permissions are all right here um i'm not going to go over each individual permission but if you want all the permissions it will be in this page and i will link this in the description below that's pretty much it for all the stuff if you need any support just write a comment down below or of course join the support discord for this plugin which is also on the page all right so taking a look at this plugin the prefix of this plugin is vc so if you do slash vc in chat it will bring up all of these uh, void chest commands and as you can see here this is the list of all the commands you can do in game and it's pretty self-explanatory but i'm going to go over exactly how to use each of these commands all the gui to this and everything you need to know to set up your own void chest and to configure this correctly on your own server so the first command you want to do or we want to know of course is slash vc reload which basically will reload the plugin. You can also do slash void chest as the help menu. There are two different um, prefixes for the plugin that you can interchange. So how do you exactly get a void chest? If you do slash VC space and then just type in anything, it will bring up this menu that says current void chests are two loaded, normal and VIP. Of course, you can create your own void chest in the configuration, which I will show you in a bit but just the default is the normal and VIP, and you are gonna need to know which ones there are. So slash VC, and then it's actually just the name, so normal, and then you want the player. So I could do the player, which is me in this case. Um, you can do, you can give it to other players, of course, and then you want the amount, which will do one. And this gives you a normal void chest, as you can see. And same thing you can do with VIP. Uh, you can just replace normal with the VIP. And you will get a VIP void chest, as you can see. So starting with this void chest, as you can see here, um, this is the normal void chest. It says the owner, all these prefixes, um, the placeholders, boost amount, money made, item sold, item purged, the basically the statistics of this void chest. And of course, if you right click, it will bring up this GUI as you can see here. So the first button is delete non sellable items. So if you enable this setting, it will, when you put an item in this void chest, it will automatically delete, like completely remove any items that aren't sellable in your configuration. Um, here you can auto sell. So as soon as the item enters the void chest, it completely auto sells that item you can click here which basically opens the custom inventory and as you can see this is the, what's actually inside the void chest um that's like all the items displayed inside of it you can click the chest inventory which is basically the chest right there you can click the hologram you can actually disable the hologram or enable it it's up to you and of course the statistics in more in depth of the void chest so of course setting up the void chest you are going to be ne needing to have a hopper behind it and then you could simply just drop in items as you can see here and it basically has all of this and it basically disappears and sells it for you um as you can see it says money made since dirt isn't sellable um you didn't make any money 
It says items sold and items purged. All right, sorry about that. I just looked in the configuration and there actually is a shop um, config. So there's actually a custom shop that you can set up for this with custom prices and items. Um, I just got the iron blocks as default that is in the shop. So what I can do is literally just put that in. We will wait 13 seconds and that really sells. So the hologram will update. And so will my balance, as you can see, everything syncs and everything works correctly. We just gotta wait three seconds here. And as you can see, it's sold. So money made, 2,240. So if you do about minus 65, I think that was the amount before, it has the exact amount of money that you sold. Um, it says sold 64 items, as said before, items purge, all of this stuff in the hologram works. And of course the GUI and everything all works and functions perfectly okay. Now going into the VIP void chest, this is practically just the same thing except the boost is different. So what this is is that it basically sells the item. Uh, I'll actually just show you what happens. As you can see, um, you can change all that stuff here. And if I just put that in and wait, we will see what happens. Alright, as you can see here, what the boost basically did is that it took the exact same number of items and it sold it for double the price. So, whatever you drop in here, you sold it for double, which is actually a lot better than that, to be honest. Um, as you can see, this sold 4,480 blocks with the iron, and this sold 2,240 2, with the iron, so this just doubles the prices. And you can probably add more void chests just like that. So you can do slash board chest stats and basically it will bring up your statistics. Um, this is your total amount of void chests, your booster, uh, booster left if you have like a actual voucher booster, not just the chest. You can t tell all the money you made, all the items you sold and all the items you purged, which is a really nice different, um, like different menu you can see that shows up all the stuff. Uh, slash BC mode. This is basically the mode or the information of the void chest. So you can see you can running which version, the name of the plugin, all of this stuff, just a simple command to see if the plugin's actually functional. And you have the latest updates. Slash BC toggle, toggles all the notifications. So if it sells an item, it will do in chat as you can see here plus that amount of money items purge zero void chest and when you sell items in here iron let's just get some iron blocks that's not iron blocks can i okay we're not gonna make the 50 okay that was somewhat of a failure but once that happens um and i toggled off sell notifications it will not give me any notifications from that which is a nice cool like different perk that you can have as you can see it actually made more money, uh, there's nothing inside the GUI, and I haven't gotten any notifications from that. Uh, you can also do slash VC, that's not slash VC, boost, and then you want to do the player, and then the amount, so we'll do 3, and then we'll do 10 minutes. So a boost of 3 has been applied to parry for 10 seconds, that's not 10 minutes, that's 10 seconds. I kind of want to increase that. Okay, I will increase that to like that amount. As you can see there, uh, once I put the stuff in, it will actually increase the boost. As you can see, it increased the boost by three there, plus the VIP board chest. And as you can see, I've made quite a bit of money from that. Um, that's pretty much it. I would recommend like putting that in a crate or like having a voucher set up or something like that just for that, that would be a really cool feature to have in the future, um, to have like a piece of paper item or like a redeemable thing, but that is a cool command you can do, that's a really nice little perk for crits or something, and I would highly recommend this for a skyblock, um, prison, survival, all of that stuff. Um, really nice plugin, I highly recommend it. And now we will look in the configuration files. All right, as you can see here, all the configuration files on top, we have the sounds, so you can have the cell, place, break sounds. All the hashtags are just information and all stuff. 
you can have all the messages so all the lang or different different messages or types of messages you can say um, the limit of void chests so in this case a player without the permission void chest of bypass would have a limit of five void chests maximum so they can't go over five um, this is the purging how many ticks um, sell you can see different um, plugins enabled or disabled and different modes you can have uh, also auto update and debugging all of that stuff and then for the player base you can have the name of the players as you can see here we have the name of all the players on the server that's ever joined and you have basically me the uid booster chests all the locations and all that stuff worlds items purge auto sell all of that stuff holograms all the different options and then the specific name of the void chest as you can see here so it's from zero um we got the shop so this is what i was talking about earlier with setting up custom prices um this can get kind of annoying which is why i would recommend you setting it up for um, shop gui but you will have to for at first look at these prices and of course iron blocks for example sell is 35 dollars so you are gonna you can modify this and this is a very important file to take a look at void chest inventories so you can have permissions um block place this is basically the actual gui and what it says you can customize exactly what it has the, the default is what i showed you in game you can have all the lore all of that is customizable that's pretty cool you can also change the hologram as you can see here decorations all of that um you can add void chests as you can see here vip you can just copy paste that and then just edit some of those settings here um yeah holograms more stuff all of that's just basically um language files and then we have more messages which is all of the messages of the plugin you can do stats other help all of that's customizable um that's pretty much it for this plugin it is a premium plugin on mc market but i highly recommend this this is an amazing plugin and i was really surprised about how amazing this plugin was when i saw this so i will see you guys later in the next plugin tutorial